Welcome to Art and Animation. In this tutorial we are going to animate the helicopter. For this we are providing rigged vectors on three different layers. You can see top fan, tail fan, helicopter base and clouds in the background. Place the vectors at the right place as shown in video. Now we are going to animate the tail fan. For that enter into the tail fan symbol, select vector and again convert it into a symbol, name it as a rotating fan. Name the layer as tail fan. Now insert a keyframe shortcut key F6 on the 10th frame. Create a classical tween between the frames. Go to first frame select property shortcut key F3. Go to frames on properties bar and select clockwise rotation, add value 15. This way the fan will rotate 15 times in 10 frames. Press enter and see the result. You can change the value to increase the speed. Now we are going to add a spiral speed line effect at the back of tail fan. Add a new layer below tail fan. Name it as shown in video. Draw a circle on this layer, delete the fill color. Change the outline color as orange is same as tail fan. We are going to duplicate the circle by pressing Ctrl plus D and scale down as shown in the video. Now select all circles and increase the stroke size to 7. Change the style of stroke as ragged. Convert vector in symbol and name it as tail fan shadow. Place the symbol at tail fan add a keyframe on 10th frame and create classic tween. Go to frames and properties tab. Select clockwise rotation and give value 15. To make it more realistic we are going to add a transparent effect to speed lines. Follow the steps as shown in the video. Select alpha to 50%. Press enter to see the result. We are going to do same procedure for top fan. Here we are going to copy the shadow layer from the tail fan. Paste it below the top fan layer. Clear the animation as shown in the video. Duplicate the symbol, name it top fan shadow. Enter into the symbol. Now scale up the speed lines to match the top fan by using scale and rotate option. Now we are going to change the stroke size to 4. Follow the steps to give rotation for speed lines as shown in the video. Go back to scene by exiting symbol. To match the helicopter perspective, we are going to skew the fan by using free transform tool. Press Ctrl plus Enter to see the preview. Now we are going to add subtle up and down movement to helicopter. To do so, add a new layer, name it as moving helicopter. We are going to move all layers except for clouds into a new symbol. Follow the steps shown in the video.
Now exit the symbol, you will find the helicopter outside of the stage, place it at the right place. Select the helicopter and convert it into symbol name it is moving helicopter. Enter into the symbol, add key frames on 25th and 50th frame, move helicopter little upwards at 25th frame, and copy first frame to 50th frame to match the first and last position. To give helicopter horizontal movement, we need to animate the clouds. Go to the clouds layer, duplicate the clouds by pressing Ctrl plus D and place them as shown in the video. Now select the all clouds and convert them into symbol name it is clouds group. Go on first frame adjust the position of clouds as shown in video, add a key frame at last frame on 60th frame and adjust the position of clouds as shown in the video. Apply classical tween between the frames. And press Ctrl plus enter to see the result. We increase the frames to 100 to slow down the speed of clouds. Animation is ready. Let's add sound effect. Add a new layer name it as SFX. Go to properties select sound. Add a sound effect from library. See the preview. Thanks for watching. If you like our tutorial do like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon to get notification on new tutorial upload.